Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, I know that it has been a while that I have posted any consistent videos. Uh, for those who are, follow me, uh, who are following me on Facebook, probably you do know that I'm quite active on the Facebook and uh, pretty much um, you can find the link to my Facebook page into the uh, description down below. And uh, yeah, you feel free to uh, tune in for a uh, live streams and as well those live, stream are, live streams are containing a free readings. Now the reason why I haven't been a, um, in touch with you guys lately, <clears throat> it is because um, as you probably know I am uh, executing my own personal tarot classes. And now as uh, the main tarot class which is the beginner tarot class, tar which is the beginner's tarot class, it's a uh, <clears throat> it's a on a recorded version currently. Uh, means that you can uh, as soon as you contribute to it, you can uh, have it in your own pace. You are going to get access to the 12 hours of content lectures which are including uh, or are containing a, the uh, profound explanation of the major arcana and uh, also how you can use those uh, major arcana in terms of uh, career, in terms of relationship, as well as if you are looking for those things also, uh, I mean career and relationship, and also in the uh, various positions into the spread that I have uh, dedicated for the class and it's pretty much a, a spread that I am using myself as well in my professional readings. Uh, so at the end of this class you are set to do your own uh, personal readings uh, in, or uh, private readings as well, hopefully. <clears throat> and uh, that is not all, you also are going to get a one personal, a free, uh, Not it's not free, it is within the uh, purchase, you know, one personal, a uh, coaching hour with me. Uh, whenever you do have questions, you want to practice, you know, uh, you want to ask me certain things that are, that's, uh, are pretty, uh, that you couldn't get your grab uh, um, upon uh, into the, uh, from the from the videos, oh my god, what is so difficult to talk today. So yeah, uh, pretty much things that are, are, pretty, uh, are a bit vague and you could not understand from the videos, you can extensively ask me about them in this uh, particular hour. And as well, um, as usual, if you do want a personal reading with me, uh, you can just purchase one from my website. You can find it here into the uh, description down below. And once you uh, set your purchase, Upon 24 hours, I'm going to come back to you and um, via email, that is, and going to give you a uh, explanation how your reading is going to take place depending on the purchase uh, that you have placed. So that being said, uh, enjoy the show. Uh, I hope that you do like the uh, monthly videos and here you go, your star sign. Right, so uh, on our hands uh, we do have Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well a uh, Aquarius Rising um, for the monthly tarot reading of July 2020. And uh, in this video I'm going to use my favorite four card tarot spread. And as well what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to determine a time frame. Uh, in which the things you do Aquarius start in the month of July, how long it's going to take for them uh, to, uh, to develop. So with that being said, let's have a look what you do have for the month of July. So the first one here is going to be the Page of uh, Cups, followed by uh, the Moon card. Moving next, uh, that is going to be the Emperor. And the last one for you here, uh, we do have the King of Wands. Okay, so uh, let's have a look what kind of a time frame we do have for you. It should be rather long and yes, it's uh, by the end of July next year as well. So it's uh, it's year and a couple of weeks. All uh, right, before we jump into the reading, let's uh, show the cards uh, one more time of the spread itself. So we do have the um, page of uh, cups followed by uh, the moon card. Moving next, that is going to be the emperor. And the last one, we have the King of Wands. So uh, that Moon card, which sits into the second position of that spread, it's a bit of a problem. And uh, that pretty much, uh, first of all, it points that uh, you are not going to feel very... What is the word? 
certain probably uh, with uh, with yourself and with the things that you are to do throughout the month in fact uh, it seems that uh, throughout this month you will strain yourself from doing anything major for your life, for your relationship and for your career as well. And that is kind of understandable. It is because the changes that you are waiting as a cue to move on forward career-wise or relationship-wise are yet to happen. And uh, the month of July really is not going to demand from you to make any bold moves, if you will, and to take any risks in general. Uh, what the month of July really is going to, uh, or what the reason behind the month of July for you, Aquarius, is going to be, is to think about the long distant future and to be more attentive to the rather overview than the, uh, than the, minor, uh, than the minor details or the irritating details. And if I have to give you an example, of it say you are about to start a new job okay and instead of being stuck with the details that say you are not getting very very well along with the collective there being more attentive to the overview that that job actually can go for a long run for you and can offer you many opportunities it is the right way for you to go forward now uh, that itself is going to um, provoke from you to reassess uh, to reassess certain certain positions of yours uh, maybe you are going to um, find out for yourself that is that you are a bit harsh in terms of a uh, intimate relationships and you gotta give a little bit more room to your partner or that you are way too soft in there and you have to step a little bit further for yourself same thing could go for a career as well but what's um, the main thing for you throughout this uh, month is, is that you are going to uh, leave into uh, on your platter if you will or you're going to live into your environment only the things that you do find yourself emotionally emotionally connected to and the rest which are appearing to be chores are uh, will pretty much gonna drop off the platter like a flies so you will not going to attend to a uh, things that you see no reason whatsoever and that is kind of close to mind and you may think well yeah of course it's, it's just what everybody would do but that's not the case because uh, in our world you know we are finding ourselves more often than not doing things that has no reason of us doing them and we're doing them anyway because that's the common trend because that's because that's the common conduct and I will give you an example of it uh, with myself, that is, that was back in the days when I was working uh, as an engineer in one company and I was called to help with a transporting printers. Well, that's not my job, you know, I'm not here to transport printers, that's something that I'm not emotionally connected to, I will hate doing it, so I'm gonna do it and that will be the end of it, okay, so that, that's an example with, uh, with a myself. Now, another thing here is to be, um, not, it's the, the word is not exactly quick to, quick to judgment, but to be true to yourself, if you will, is what you are doing really for your greater good or not. And any suspicious that it isn't, uh, that it is not for your greater good, should be a cue for you to uh, pretty much leave it behind. Now that comes from the moon card into the second position. In fact, many of you may realize throughout the course of the month moving forward that they are walking on a path that pretty much isn't their path to take on forward and it is just a path that uh, um, fulfills someone else's uh, well-being. Okay, and for that reason, relationships can break, uh, jobs can be uh, not exactly lost, but quit. Okay, and from there, um, you are going to be on a journey to find your thing and to find your place uh, in, the, uh, in the universe. Now that's on the, that was on the serious side. Now um, from there what we do have, let me just gain control over my camera. So from there we do have the uh, emperor sitting on the third position and uh, that itself points 
the trial of the month itself, you are going to be remarkable into fulfilling uh, the, uh, the duties and the tasks in general that will keep your life sustained, meaning that it is highly unlikely that throughout the month you are going to experience ups and downs in anything. Your current relationship, should you decide that is the thing you need, okay, or your current career, money, and so on and so forth. Uh, you will be able as well to get a, uh, to grapple, not just only get, but to grapple the things in life that you are tackling with and to establish control over them uh, and, and create a structure in a such a way that uh, by exerting a full control over your routine, over your relationship, or over your career as well, you also are gonna have a time for yourself to indulge, to indulge with a things that you really, really like. Additionally to that, it's also highly unlikely that uh, you are gonna be seen as a weak person or anybody will be able to take advantage of your weakness should there be any kind of weakness. And even if there is any kind of weakness in your world, say, you know, you have uh, broke recently and you're feeling emotionally vulnerable, uh, you will do a very good job into hiding that weakness and, and that will come from the understanding of what dignity is. And, and, and dignity in general does not dictate that everything needs to be shared with the world. And certain people, certain individual or certain things needs to know only what they need to know. They, don't not, they do not need to know the whole truth about you and about your situation as well. And that is gonna play a major role into how you give a direction to your life, to your relationship, to your career as well. So you can find yourself very, uh, very successful at the end in both of those things. Because what we do have uh, by the end of the month here with the King of Wands, it is that your ambition finally takes off. And that ambition will carry on by the end of July next year. Okay, the development of that ambition will carry on by the end of July next year. But that ambition that you do have, whatever the ambition is, you know, ambition, it could be that you are, are end up in marriage, ambition, it could be that you become CEO, ambition, it could be as well finalizing a certain project. It doesn't matter, whatever the ambition is. Now, ambition is different than a goal, okay? Ambition is something that carries you on toward a, a goal while the goal is when things finally wraps up. So the ambition, it is just a milestone. That milestone will carry on up until the end of July next year. So you, what happens here is that you will see how your ambition is taking off, okay? And uh, at the end of the day, um, you will be able to transform that ambition with uh, with in, I'm sorry, in a very, very powerful drive, which drive you can use to accomplish any kind of goal uh, that's, um, that you may have rega uh, regarding on that ambition. And here I wanna make a differentiation, okay? Now you may have the ambition to study and once you complete that ambition, the studying you have done will help you to accomplish a goal, to have a, a good job okay so that's uh, the ambition is just a mean and that mean you will transform into a very powerful uh, and determined actions as well um, which will help you to accomplish your goal by the end of July next year. Another thing about uh, the, that stage at the end of the month it is that you are going to feel really uplifted and very vitalized if you will or revitalized and you will have an extraordinary positive attitude, okay? Literally nobody will be able to ruin your mood and to, um, uh, to take the better of you, if you will. Uh, and also by that time as well, uh, you may find yourself indulging more and more with the pleasures of life, like, you know, socializing, hanging out, or whatever floats your boat. So that being said, Aquarius, that was your uh, monthly tarot reading for the month of July 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.